Hi, I'd like to talk for a minute about rights and interests in land. I'd like to talk about the reason why land became an important asset to people. A little history is necessary before we get started. Nomadic, uh, early men were nomadic, meaning that they, they did not uh, reside in a single place. What they would do is they would go out and they would, they would hunt uh, and kill their, their, uh, their food or they would gather their food. This uh, really, those people had no concept of real property and the value of real estate or land. So the catalyst that really provided value to land and real property was the idea of cultivating crops and domestic animals. So all of a sudden now they needed room for these animals to graze and they needed room to grow their crops. So that's really the catalyst when I ask you the catalyst for uh, the value in land, that's really the, the, uh, the catalyst. Now there are two ways, uh, two systems of ownership. There is feudal and oligile. I want to talk about feudal first. These groups of people out of the need for security and to band together in order to take care and protect these crops that they had and their land, would, they would form together as tribes. Uh, when any peoples get together, there will naturally be those that rise to the top as leaders. Those leaders, you can probably guess, were called kings. There were also people down the chain that were called lords, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But this system of government basically required the people reporting to the king or under the king to provide the king with security. So there were things that were necessary uh, in return for that security, and that was that they would have uh, water and food and those types of things. Sort of like a, a preliminary government, if you will. The, in return for that security provided to the king and loyalty, the king would give these lords the ability to deal out their land to subjects. This is where the term landlord comes from. Okay, so now you know a new term. You know where landlord came from. Okay, today in environment, a landlord is one who rents out property. Well, that's exactly what they did in those days. That's where the term landlord came from. Under the feudal system, the king owned all the land, but dealt it out to the, to the lords so that they could allow people to live on those lands. As time went on, uh, the subjects gained the ability to actually transfer the land from the lords to their next of kin, uh, to their heirs. This prompted the new system, which we call oladile, that you'll read about. That's the system that we have in America. This system came uh, when, the, uh, when the English came here, and uh, so we got it from the British. Um, and that's the, way that, that's the system that we have today, the oladile system. Now, the interesting thing about the oladile system is, is we still need some of the things that the king required back in the early days. And there are four things, really, that the king needed. The king needed security. The king needed the ability to police. Uh, so there are some things that... Uh, that we'll talk about in this next section that, uh, that, the, that the government gained or, or kept in this oladile system. Thank you.